Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. This video is all about precision, precision, precision. Uh, I love using precision weapons, I always have. Uh, you know, even thinking back in my history of gaming, uh, it's always been precision weapons. When I was a kid, uh, Halo Combat Evolved came out when I was in middle school. That's how old I am, yep. <laughs> so, the original, the OG Halo game came out when I was in middle school. And um, we did LAN parties all the time, and I was the sniper guy, you know, I was always using the sniper, I was always using uh, the Magnum, I just love precision weapons, Call of Duty, the MK14 was always my go-to, I just loved the precision, semi-auto, um, I even just enjoyed running around using handguns in COD, uh, it's just sort of been my thing, no matter what game I'm playing, that's just always what I've gravitated towards. And, uh, and Destiny is no different. So lately I've had a lot of fun uh, running a, a loadout that just kind of focuses exclusively on precision. And if you don't hit your headshots, you're probably going to lose your fights. And uh, so the gameplay here, you're seeing Ariana's Vow, which is the new exotic uh, special hand cannon. It takes special ammo, hits really hard like a truck. It's a lot of fun to use uh, in the kinetic slot. I think almost all this gameplay, if not all of it, is the DFA. DFA is a Nightfall exclusive hand cannon, um, which is it's one of the Curse of Osiris uh, Nightfalls. It's the one where Big Cabal guy drops down on top of the Big Vex guy, and you're like, dang, he thick. Uh, anyways, that one gives you the DFA. I use it because, well, I, I love the DFA. But I got over like a couple thousand kills on it in Crucible before picking it back up recently. Uh, I used it, it for a long time. Uh, when it first became available. It's got opening shot, and that's one of the reasons I like it. It's a 140 uh, with opening shot, so when I'm using something like Ariana's Vow, it just feels really good to switch to the, a 140 that has opening shot on. And I do have other 140s and 110s with opening shot as well, but for old time's sake, having used the DFA in a quick minute, decided, why not? And it actually feels pretty good right now, especially with the, uh, the recoil changes to hand cannons. Despite the range nerf, this hand cannon feels pretty darn good right now. And I'm using Gunslinger, I'm using the bottom tree because I like, even though it's three shots instead of six, and even though the hit registration on on the three shot Goldie is butts, like it's seriously butts, sometimes you put the reticle right on the guy and it whiffs entirely. While six shooter, sometimes you put the reticle clearly off the guy and it's like, yeah, that's a hit, man, you got five more. <laughs> so uh, that's not here or there. But I like this one because of the focus on precision. You know, doing precision damage with the golden gun, precision damage with your uh, throwing knives, and even precision damage with your firearms to give you uh, neutral game buffs along the way. I do really like this skill tree. And uh, the precision throwing knives, they're just fun to throw. I like getting headshots. I like hearing the cha-ching when you get a, a knife refunded because you smack the guy between the eyes with it. Always a really good feeling. It's also really good for shutting down uh, supers that are running at you. The explosive knife, Sometimes it's, you can't really use it as clutchly. I made up an adverb, clutchly, as clutchily, because the explosive knife doesn't do all the damage instantaneously. It does a delayed explosion, right? So a lot of times you just end up trading with the explosive knife, while the precision knife, if you hit it, bing, there's your damage right there. And if it's enough to kill him, he's dead, you live, you walk away a lot of times. And uh, the explosive knife just does not have that edge, that instantaneous damage. Uh, it's got some other advantages, like being able to damage people behind cover and things like that. But um, but I just like the precision knives because in a pinch, they can save you life and keep you alive and secure some nice kills for you. I'm using the Dragon Shadow in this gameplay. I have a hard time not using Dragon Shadow on uh, my Hunter because in terms of your neutral game, there's just nothing else like it. I think this is S tier uh, in terms of exotic armor for Hunters. I think it goes a little bit overlooked. Um, People tend to focus on other things like Stompies, etc. Uh, but and uh, right now, Worm Husk because it's just so freaking good with uh, Arc Battery. But I tend to like running Dragon Shadow with four Paragon mods because I'm dodging a lot, I'm reloading my guns, I'm getting my melee abilities back, and on top of that, Wraith Metal Mail is just insane. You basically have quick draw snapshot on everything. Everything is super responsive. It doesn't matter what rolls you have on your firearms. If Wraith Metal Mail is active, they have quick draw snapshot. And with how many dodges I get, how often I get to my dodge ability, I basically always have Wraith Metal Mail if I want to. I just dodge all the time and get it up. Um, so anyways, yeah, 
uh, my armor mods, I'm running basically all enhanced hand cannon stuff in this gameplay. Enhanced hand cannon targeting, enhanced hand cannon dexterity, enhanced hand cannon reload speed, hand cannon unflinching, hand cannon scavenger. And uh, on top of that, since I'm dodging so freaking much, why not add in enhanced bomber? Getting my Granadas back mucho the quicko. And uh, because of all the dodges I'm doing, Enhanced Bomber makes it so that you get a, a, a quick boost to your grenade energy every time you use your class ability. So that one you get a whole lot of mileage out of compared to some of the other things uh, for Hunter in terms of your mark, uh, your class mark mods. Uh, Ariana's, I overlooked it initially. You know, there were so many guns that came out when Shadowkeep dropped. And I'm farming all of Eris' stuff, I'm doing the raid and getting the reviews out for all these different weapons and spending so much time with all those, it was really easy for me to overlook Ariana's and I'm like, oh, a million YouTubers are doing Ariana's videos right now. I'll get to it later. And I did get to it later. And I got to it and I'm, you know, I really like it. I, uh, truth be told, I mean, I went to Bungie before Shadowkeep dropped and I got to play Shadowkeep, um, you know, early and it was great. But, uh, they were like, yeah, go ahead and, um, if you want to try out Ariana's Val, feel free. You just pull it out of collections. I was like, okay, sweet. Uh, they're like, yeah, just make sure you've got, uh, space for it, or else it'll go to the Postmaster, and, and you can't go to the tower in, in like, the playtest build we were on. I was like, okay, no problem. So I deleted a heavy weapon so that I had room for it, pulled it out of collections, um, and it went to... No, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't collections. It was, like, a, a package reward, so it wasn't in collections. We were, we actually weren't allowed to go to the collection, collections page because it had, like, raid stuff in it that they didn't want us to see. So it was like a, um... Uh, scoop it about yo dilly dope. I'm blanking on it. Oh, it's like a quest reward or something like that. So you just cash it in and then you get the gun. But like I said, if you don't have room for it, it goes to the postmaster. You can't go retrieve it in the test build. And so I deleted a heavy because I thought it was a heavy weapon. For I don't know why. Just in the moment, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course it's a heavy weapon. It's a heavy weapon. It was a special. So I didn't have room for it. So I was the one guy at the play at the um, the capture event that did not get to use Ariana's Val. So all the other YouTubers asked across is like, what? pumping out an Ariana's Bow video and, and uh, you know, Cactus has got one and and here I am like, I don't have any game to play with it because I'm an idiot, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, this is my precision build I was using. I had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay and uh, all the yellow numbers that pop off uh, in the gameplay. I had a great time playing it. Let me know what you think. If you have used Ariana's Vow, what do you couple it with? Do you use sidearms with it? Do you use pulse rifles with it? Do you use hand cannons with it? Do you use bows with it? A lot of guys are using bows. Let me know what you like to couple with it. I'm genuinely interested. Um, feel free to stop by the Facebook page sometime. Say hi. Um, a lot of people are like, I don't want people to know my real name. All you got to do is create a page. This takes literally 30 seconds to do. So easy. Just create a page and name the page your gamer tag. And then you can come uh, to fb.gg slash the true vanguard. It'll bring you right to my page. We have a community there. Our live streams are there. I post exclusive Facebook videos there, uh, polls there, interact with the community there. And you can interact there as much as you like. Um, you just have to toggle comment as page on. That way you don't let people know your real name. You're just, you know, Poonslayer420 if that's what you want to be called. Um, but anyways, uh, feel free to stop by sometime, hang out, check out the live streams. I look forward to interacting with you more and uh, looking forward to the next video. Be warm and well-fed, my friends. Hope to catch you in the crucible. Bye-bye.